Hey guys, Aaron Zeller here of the Zeller Writing Company and InkOnHand.com. In today's video, I want to talk to you about the Palomino Pencil Sharpener. I've had quite a few emails about it, so I just wanted to do a quick video uh, explaining a little bit about the pencil sharpener and then demonstrating how to actually sharpen your pencils with it. It's a simple two-step process, and it creates a really nice, long, sharp point. So let's check it out. All right, so here is the Palomino Long Point Pencil Sharpener. Um, you'll notice there are two of them here. They're both exactly the same. The only difference is the color. One is just the Palomino long point, the other is the black wing. It's just the color and logo is the only difference between them. The whole sizes are the same. They're both going to produce the same kind of point. Um, yeah, so it's just a preference if you want a transparent orange or a solid black color. Uh, for the sake of this, I'm just going to use the orange just because that's the one I've been using most often uh, size-wise. It's pretty small. It can fit in your pocket, toss in your pencil bag. Uh, it's not big. It doesn't need to take up a ton of space on your desk. You can toss in a drawer when you're not using it. It has the clear lid right here, so you can see the shavings emptied out when necessary. You don't have to be over a trash can while you're while, while you're sharpening your pencils. Uh, you can just sharpen it and then dump it out later on. Um, it doesn't have a huge compartment here, but it'll suit you fine for a full day's worth of pencil sharpening at least. Um, when you open it up, you'll see there is the actual pencil sharpener here, but then right here, there are actually two separate, two, two extra blades. So if these ever do get dull, you can just unscrew them easy enough. It is just a simple, it looks like a, yeah, it's just a Phillips head screw right there. Uh, you can just pretty much unscrew those blades, take these out, put them back in and toss the old ones. Um, really easy, it's really cool they come with that. Not a lot of pencil sharpeners do. Um, but it's also it's also a little pricier than most other pencil sharpeners, so it is good that you're definitely getting more for your money. Um, so how the actual two uh, two step process works? Um, it's pretty simple actually. The first one uh, shapes the wood. The second one shapes the point or the lead inside. It doesn't have to be the black wing or Palomino pencils. Uh, it can be pretty much any pencil. Um, just to see a comparison of how the long point pencil sharpener. Um, shapes the pencil compared to a regular one is I have two pencils right here. Uh, this one is the uh, Field Notes pencil. It's just a regular pencil sharpener. I've had for a while. I just used that and this is the long point one. You can tell the point is definitely longer. Um, and the, and the, the only way to do that is with this two-step process right here. You can see the, um, the ending holes are a little bit different than each other basically. Um, yeah, they. You see, you have this one takes care of the woods, um, the wood shape. This one takes care of the point. So I'll show you how it actually works. The first time I tried it, I wasn't quite sure because I couldn't really figure out how to sharpen a pencil that would not fit in this hole. So I was like, oh, maybe it's for two separate sizes. And then I actually realized it's for two separate steps to get the pretty much the one of the best points, in my opinion, at least. Um, for these pencils. So to start with, you just take it, I'll just grab the regular Palomino Blackwing here, and you'll put it in, and just as you'd expect with any pencil sharpener, you'll just keep going until the point, take it, check it up, not done yet. Um, there you go. And you'll be able to see after that one, it's a really weird looking point. I guess I went a little bit too far with it. Um, but it does have a natural stop in there. You can't see it behind all the shavings. But there is a stop. And that's lead just going to hit there and keep spinning around. Um, yeah, so let me just dump that out real quick. So you got this weirdo looking point, um, and that's really what kind of freaked me out the first time. I was like, oh, maybe it's, I mean, you're just doing this wrong. Um, but that was just step one. Step two is you put it into the smaller hole, which the pencil will fit in it now. However, you can see it goes in far enough for the lead. Um, it doesn't go in all the way to the edge. It's just to shape the point of the lead. So you'll put it in and turn it just like you would still the pencil but this time it's actually shaping the lead. 
and you take it out and you have a really long, really sharp, really nice point to your pencil. Um, and then you can pretty much just take a regular piece of paper and Um, my handwriting is not that good. One thing it will take into account is because this is a long point, it's a really fine point. When I go down to like hit the eyes stuff, it does damage the point quite a bit. You can already tell it's already flat. Um, there we go. But you can always just take it back and true it up. Just a little bit more. I actually have to go back and there you go. You pretty much you'll have to put it in the wood part again because uh, what basically stops everything from going back in is the width of the pencil itself. So you have to make sure the uh, the lead is sticking out far enough compared to the wood to go in there to sharpen the point. Um, but it's a very simple, easy process. Um, it's actually really cool. I don't really know of any other two-step pencil sharpeners out there right now. Um, let's kind of see. You can pretty much take any of the pencils. Maybe I'll fix up this Feel Notes one. I don't know if you can see that through. You can see the point past where the stop is. And then it pretty much extends a little farther than normal. put it through into the lead part and it makes a really nice sharp long point um, yeah so there it is there isn't a whole ton to say about these um, works really well it's a really really nice point uh, the Palomino pencils I'll be doing a review on those in a little bit uh, they write extremely well and you just you can just hear the difference it's just such a smoother write compared to the regular pencils. Um, so we'll go over that in a little bit. Yeah, but there you go. If you have any other questions about them, um, feel free to let me know. I'm pretty sure I covered everything about the long point pencil sharpener. There's not a whole ton to say about them other than they work really well, create a really nice point. So there you go. So I think that I covered this pretty well. As you can tell, it is just a simple two-step process to get a nice long point on your pencils. Um, but if you have any comments or questions about this or anything else for that matter, feel free to let me know in the comments below. You can always shoot me an email or reach out to me via any of the other social media outlets that I'm on. It should be listed right on the side of this site. Um, so until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.